Hello, good morning once again. Thank you very much for staying on TV3 New Day. And this is a social block or a segment where we discuss issues that, you know, bother on our day-to-day -day activities or <coughs> daily lives. Today we want to pay particular attention to uh, children. Do, when you spot a child's talent or your child's talent, how do you help them develop it? And then also, really, if you know your child wants to play football, maybe now you, because football is very lucrative, you would want them to you know, follow that dream. But if your child says they want to be an artist, a painter maybe, or an athlete, would you as a parent willingly help them develop it? Or you'd still force them to become a medical doctor or, you know, a bank manager like uh, has been the norm over the years. We have someone who teaches children with the use of drama to become confident and do stuff that they really, uh, you know, their in, innate talent uh, tells them to do and he's here to help us understand how really parents uh, can help their wards develop their talent or grow in that regard. Um, I'm talking about Kweku Boating Ankuma. He's a principal of Helen O'Grady Drama Academy uh, here in Accra and he's help here to help us understand how what goes into developing your child's uh, talent and education for that matter. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Great. Um, to start with, uh, if I am a parent and I see that my child likes to... Uh, football is too common. Maybe my child likes, likes to run around. Right. So I'm foreseeing an athlete, a future okay. Usain Bolt. Okay. How do I help the child develop that? Vis-a-vis -vis the fact that he must get his primary and basic education right. how do you balance the two okay so firstly i would say with any type of discipline be it sports or the arts as soon as you spot um a child showing those signs of strength in those particular mm -hmm. disciplines you should i would advise as a parent to encourage that especially at that young age mm. um and you don't necessarily have to encourage it because you know that they're going to be an athlete later on or they're going to be a footballer later on or an artist. But purely for the fact that whatever a child feels that they have um, the creative passion for and talent for, as a parent, I, I feel it's your right to allow them to, you know, steer them that way for as, as, as long as they can until they feel like you know what I want to take this seriously mm. I want to really develop this that's when you can really sit down with a child and make those decisions okay we, we your your institution helps children develop their talents through drama that's right or through the arts how important is the art in developing children's talents or developing the, the child for that matter okay um, I think it's extremely extremely important and I believe it's been um, overlooked for a long time. All around the world, even in the um, parts of the world where um, the arts have a big funding and a big following um, and it's easier to get into, it's still um, overlooked. Um, if you look at statistics in regards to how important drama is into shaping a child's all-round development, mm. it will tell you that it's extremely important in schools um, children who participate in drama and children who participate in most creative stuff usually tend to get higher scores in other academic mm. activities like maths and science because it's broadening the mind in a lot of different ways so I think it's particularly important to have um, a child be able to express themselves through the, the creative arts and, in that and, way. and, and, and wh why do you from, I mean, you've done this over a few years. Why do you think that there seems to be a lack of attention to that and then it's clearly underfunded? Okay. I mean, th I'm sure there are a lot of factors. Um, the part of the world that we are, I believe arts and the sports are getting much more of a, you know, um, a support kind of these support, days mm. because maybe of the, the, the benefits that they reap from it that they're seeing so quickly. Um, I, don't, I don't believe that the arts are there yet, but um, I think the reason why it's not supported so much is a lot to do with uh, societal thinking in terms of culture, the way we, we see art and um, 
people who do people who want to be a musician people who want to be actors people who want to be painters are not taken as serious as people who want to be a doctor or people who want to be engineers or surgeons or you know and we need to address that and see that no this is this what this person's choosing is very valid and has a, a massive effect on the um on on society mm. in terms of storytelling let's say for example for um actors you you're representing what your society is and you're you're bringing new ideas as to what you know choices of improvements or what not so i believe um it, it it's not taken as seriously as it is now but it can be um it should be um supported, supported and definitely and uh, how yeah. how viable or profitable is the talent development industry vis-a-vis uh, -vis the fact that there is a high unemployment rate in the country so yeah. if someone decides to pursue their talent yeah. what is the end benefit and how, how how massive do you think this industry is okay i think the potential for the industry to be huge in this part of the world is is there there's a huge potential for that um how big it is right now is, as I said, is not being discovered. So we're not really, um, we're not really seeing that. I think we are at a very minimal place mm. of it. But the potential for um, the arts to be huge in this country and parts of West Africa is huge. If we look at the children that are um, and, and young adults that are going through that have creative um, talent and skills in this country, it's amazing every day. You just have to walk around and look around and you can see that there's creative talent, talent all around you. And what we're not doing is we're not building institutions and we're not um, having funding and support for these children's creative talents to be lucrative. If we go over to Europe and America, you will go, you, children can start in the school that, you know, that I've set up here. They, children can start in schools like that for creativity and it's not necessarily to make a star is actually to give them that open confidence so they build up their communication skills, their speech skills, their vocal skills, their, um, their confidence skills, so that they can relate to people normally. Now, when those children grow up, all those skills are being enhanced, and then they can choose where to go. If we look at Britain and America, the, the amount of money that people are making in terms of not even the, the economy is making as a country um, through the arts is huge it's a multi-billion mm. um, dollar um, um, industry so there's huge huge um, benefits for the arts to be really thought about not not you know just oh let's open this for them and give them and a few them mm. you know mil uh, uh, a, a, a amount of money to set this up we need to really sit down and say what are the benefits? What can we do to really advance Africa? And African culture, we have such a rich culture that we can export amazing plays, musicals, music, um, art, culture, so much well, that if we really think through it, we can a lot of it. talent. Yeah. Okay, and, and in concluding, in 30 seconds, yes. we'd want to know if you would advocate for this kind of mindset and teaching the mm -hmm. art to develop children be in, you want you would want to advise it be inculcated in our national agenda and schools for that matter yeah. is that a call you would endorse definitely yeah. i i would endorse that 100 percent. i would say that um just with my institute the, the company that i have what we do is we go into schools mm. as well and basically what we do is we have an in-school program and after-school program and the basis of that is to get children who are working on academic who are doing academic work to you know use the other side of their um, brain Thinking out of the box exactly kind of. and that's what it creates and as I said what happens is the grades get better in school yeah and we want to be at a place where you know we are at a place where in terms of literacy levels we're very, you know, we're, we're well, behind that. And this is a great tool for that in shaping literacy, wow. speech, and, um, you know, okay. all that. Okay. Uh, I would have to leave it here for now. Kweku Boate Ankuma is the principal for uh, Helen O'Grady Drama Academy, where they help children develop their talents through drama.